How you doing? This is Sean McVeigh with Sean's Outdoor Adventures and I just got to tell you about this pheasant hunt I did today with the recurve. The way it came about is I went to the Sportsman Show in Bloomsburg this year. We're just walking around chatting with people. I get chatting with this guy. He runs pheasant hunts. So um, long story short is he's like, you want to come do a hunt? I'm like, sure. You know, so we book a hunt and now I'm like, I got to make some flu flu arrows, get the old recurve out and give this a try. All right, I am getting ready for the pheasant hunt. I'm just gonna use a small game tip. And I made this quiver many moons ago. This is the hide from the first deer I ever harvested in my life. Five pointer. Five pointer with my dad, Pennsylvania deer. Now I had hoped to practice for this outing today and I did get out twice in the yard for about 15 minutes each. And if I can focus, I can do okay. And so I am hoping that in the moment, with the pheasants flying up, I will be very focused and not distracted. Using 125 grain tips. Should be interesting. Let's go see how I do. So, Talking to the guy on the phone, he's like, I'm just going to go out and put some birds out and we'll just go see, you know, we'll, we'll walk around to those areas and see if we can get, get you some shots at them. So he put out a total of three birds for me and lo and behold, we got out on the first one and I didn't know what to expect. I was waiting for the bird to fly up, I, you know, thinking I'm going to have to take a shot. Well, the bird wouldn't go. <laughs> the bird just sat there. So I actually had to go up and kick the bird. Now... Think about shooting instinctively with a recurve, and I'm a little bit rusty, and you got your foot out in front of you kicking to try to get this bird up. You're totally off balance, you know, and so with, with me, instinctive shooting, I like having my feet set and ready to go. So having my foot out was a huge distraction for me with me kicking and trying to get this bird to fly up, and I didn't know what to expect. Finally, the bird flies up, and I'm not, I'm not balanced. I'm like kind of leaning back. So now I gotta, and the bird's flying away and my mind's like, you gotta hurry up and take a shot. So I'm like, I drew back, let it rip, and I just didn't fully focus. I mean, it was close though. I mean, the arrow was going right where it needed to go. It was a second late. So in a sense, although I didn't get the bird, I, it, that gave me a sudden rush of confidence. I'm like, man, I, I can do this. Like I, I would have totally drilled that if I just focused that last second. Cool. Okay, Sean, why don't you come right around off to the, the right to the right. to the right side. To the right side. To the right. Okay, then you're gonna walk right up to it. Probably you're gonna have to you're gonna have to pull the bow back when it flushes. You'll have plenty of time. It's off to it's right in front of Molly. So walk right into Molly. Okay, you're gonna have to walk right in. Walk in and flush it. Whoa, Molly. Okay, it's right under your left foot. You see. Okay, this, you'll have plenty of time, Sean. Trust me, you'll have plenty of time. Just kind of lift it up with your foot. Whoa, Bo. Ooh. Ah. Ah, just under. When we got on the second bird, I mean, we didn't even get close. That bird took off before we even got close to it, so I had no shot. Third bird was like a repeat of the first bird. It just wouldn't go, and I didn't see it at first. The dogs were pointing, and I'm looking. I mean, there's all this brushy stuff with snow. 
I, I finally see the bird after he points it out to me. He's like, it's, a, it's ahead of you, you know. And again, I have to go up and kind of kick at it, which is tough. But I'm, a, I'm like, this time I got to focus, you know. Well, instead of taking off flying, the bird runs. And I like, I wanted to shoot it on the ground, but I was like, is it okay if I shoot it on the ground? So um, I passed on the shot when it, the bird took off running. And the guy, you know, we were kind of chasing after the bird a little bit. And I saw where the bird went. And I, you know, I asked on the way there, hey, can I shoot it on the ground? He's like, yeah, okay, you know, if it's clear. I get over to where the bird is, and I, you know, I think it's about, it was about 12 yards away. It wasn't even that far, and I could see a, a hole through the brush. So a quick take a shot. I drilled the bird, and it's, it we just went down flapping, and I didn't know if it was, what it was going to do. I mean, if it was just flapping because it was expiring or what the deal was. And so he's like, shoot it again. So I went to reach for another arrow and pulled out of the quiver. And at that point, the dog came in and jumped on the bird. And um, I mean, when he picked up the bird, the, the head was limp. It was, I had made the shot. It was effective. And I was fired up, man. I was like, dude, I did it. You know, I shot this bird instinctively. And I haven't, I mean, I used to shoot it uh, recurve a lot when I was a kid. I'm talking 30 years ago is when I was using recurves a lot. It's been a good 30 years since I've really done much with them. And to just pick it up, be rusty, not really get much practice, and to pull it off, I was proud of myself. I was happy. I mean, yeah. Okay. There. Yep. Okay. So you can move in. Hold on a second now. I'm going to back up here a bit. And I'm going to come back. Whoa, Bo. Whoa. Whoa, Bo. Okay. I'll let him fly. Come on, find a bird. Come on, Bo. Here. Want me to just shoot it on the ground? Uh, well, not now. Not now. Let him. Hope oh, just put a little pressure on him. You get it? I think so. Put another arrow just in case. Call Bo out so I hit Yeah, Bo, Bo, Bo! We worked and we, we chased after some birds, you know, after I, I got this one. But I mean, again, we just weren't even getting within 50 yards of them and they were taken off. So I just wanted to share that. I was excited. It was a lot of fun. And now that I got the recurve up and going, you know, I thought about, hey, do I want to try a little small game hunting with it this fall? But I was like, you know, there's also deer hunting. You know, I, I might get that recurve out and get some broadheads for it and uh, see if I can get myself a deer with it this year. When I got into the car to go home, I mean, I tried to do a little commentary to talk about the day and just do what I'm doing now in the car, leaving, but the lighting, with it just wasn't giving me a good image, so I had to lean back, and I was trying to like get it to where my face wasn't really darkened out. But I was like, ah, forget it. I'll just, uh, I'll just do a little, this little thing when I get home. So in the next video, I did film him cleaning the pheasant out for me. So if you haven't cleaned a pheasant before and you're curious on how he does it, uh, I'm going to air that in the next video. So I hope you will stay tuned for that. Thanks for tuning into this. And I, I'm sorry that, you know, you couldn't really see the the harvest shot better than you can. Uh, but heck, maybe, uh, maybe YouTube won't demonetize my video because there's not a clear like kill shot or something. So anyway, I am Sean McVay with Sean's Outdoor Adventures and I want to say thanks for tuning in to this fun adventure of mine. Until next time, take care and God bless.